Hey, good morning everybody. Coach T here with the Sheriff Pal Program. Hope you're having a great day. It's Thursday, July 9th. Uh, we have a great day here. We're going to do some football. Uh, kind of reviewing from last week. So we worked on throwing the football correctly, catching the football. Uh, we talked about tucking a little bit. We didn't actually go into uh, tucking and the mechanics of tucking. We're going to do that today. And uh, we talked about uh, running one route, which is the hitch. So uh, we're going to go into a little bit more um, about throwing and catching, uh, tucking the ball, um, and we're going to do another route and a little bit of defensive back work. So that's what we got on store for today. So uh, let's have a great day. So kind of reviewing uh, throwing from last week. So just remember, again, grip, find your laces here, step, step with the opposite foot, flip. The ball comes here, flips back, the point goes back, over the top, follow through. So grip, step, flip, over the top, follow through. Remember, that's how we do throwing, okay? Catching the ball, all right? Diamond hands, okay? Fingers out, hands out. If it's above the waist, below the waist. Pinkies are together, okay? I'm gonna flip our hands like this, pinkies together. If it's below the way so thumbs up pinkies down okay so one of the important things is after you catch the ball we're gonna tuck it okay now we didn't really talk about how to tuck the ball last week but we're gonna do that today okay so the ball okay you want three points of pressure when you tuck the ball okay so you got your hand here I'm gonna tuck it into my right arm okay so we don't want the, the, the point covered so we take it we split our fingers like this Okay, and we don't want the point covered. The reason why we don't want the point covered is if somebody, if we're running and somebody comes with their, their helmet and puts the helmet right on the ball, boom, we're gonna smash our fingers and we're gonna drop it. So what we wanna do is keep it here and split it a little bit like that. So that's the first point of pressure. Second point of pressure is our forearm, okay? So we're here, we're gonna put it really tight against our forearm. Okay, so one, two, the third point of pressure is the side right here, to my side. So keep it here and this is how we do it now sometimes you'll see it in the NFL they'll be running like this that's not proper ball handling and okay, we really want to keep it here with three points of pressure one two three okay now I, no one can rip it out of me just like that so if you have somebody at home um, you know make sure it's somebody that you're related to uh, not anybody else because we definitely want to keep our social distancing but um, practice this and see if they can rip it out of you okay take it here and see if they can rip one of the most common things is from the back so make sure that you really keep that tight in the back there and don't expose that back point. Because if you expose the back point, they can pull it out like that. Okay, so keep it in there. All right, have somebody coming home and try to get it out of there, pull it out of there, and start running with it a little bit too. See And see if you can run with it tight like this with the three points of pressure. All right, now um, we're gonna warm up a little bit before we do this thing. So uh, we're gonna talk about high knees, okay? Heel kicks, and we're gonna do some quick karaoke or grapevines, whatever you wanna call them, okay? If you have the football at home, do these with the football, okay? So keep the football in, practice that tucking. The first thing we're gonna do is a high knee. So when we're doing our high knees, okay, we want this thigh to be about parallel with our waist, okay? So high knees, feet are gonna come up like this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down and back, high knees, ready, go. Okay, so that was high knees. We're gonna go down and back with the high knee. Now we're gonna do heel kicks. Okay, so really wanna get up there and this is gonna be stretching out those hamstrings and quads. So get those heels up and see if you can kick, kick your booty right there. So that's gonna be a heel kick. Tuck in that ball, okay? You're gonna be swinging your arms still in all of these exercises. So remember to do that. Um, heel kicks, so down and back with heel kicks. Ready, go. So high knees, heel kicks. And now we're going to do karaoke or grapevine, depending on what your coach calls it. I call it karaoke. That's how it was told to me growing up. So this is how it works. So this leg is my left leg. It's going to go up in front of me. Okay. Then it comes my right. Then it's going to go behind me. Okay. So front, behind, front, behind. Okay. Now coming back, it's the exact opposite. So the left, the right leg, front, behind front step back step front step back step okay that's karaoke this is what's gonna look like okay now when we want to do these really quick there's different ways to do these you can get up high and reach but they do that a lot of times in track and field 
to work on the hip flexors. But we're just gonna do it really quick right now because we wanna work on quick feet, okay? So remember, front step, behind step. So it's gonna look like this, okay? And then coming back. Okay, so last week we went over hitch, okay? Slow motion is what's gonna hitch is gonna look like. Getting our stance, okay? The close leg is forward, okay? Weight's a little bit down on our front so we can explode out. Hands are down, okay? So this is a slow motion. This is what the hitch looks like. We're gonna press vertical for five yards. I'm pressing vertical, vertical, throttling down, coming through, waiting for the ball, catch, tuck, and getting up field. Okay, so that is the hitch, okay? Okay, so one more time, we're gonna do that in full speed now, okay? And uh, so this is what the hitch looks like, okay? We're in our stance, press vertical, throttle down, come back to the ball, catch it, tuck it, get up field, okay? Set, hut. Okay, so that was the hitch. Now we're gonna go over a slant. One of the easiest routes in football, it's called a slant. The hard part is that you gotta get it's a timing route, so you gotta get moving quick, okay? So I'm in my stance, so for a slant, okay, we're gonna come up and then we're just gonna come slanting right across the uh, line of scrimmage like that, maybe about five to seven yards past the line of scrimmage. So that's a slant, it's one of those things where you wanna go in front of the defender and just cut it off and run as fast as you can over across the middle, okay? So a couple keys on this one is to get your head around, okay? Because if your head is still forward, you're not gonna see the ball, because that ball's gonna be coming quick probably, okay? So um, that's a slant, it's gonna look like this, full speed. Set, hut. Yep. Okay, so a uh, good point right there is you gotta throw, whoever's throwing the ball, quarterback, really needs to throw it in front of them, okay? So you see the last time I was throwing behind or kind of where I was, but the thing is I'm running really fast. So you really gotta lead them. Okay, lead them and throw it out in front of them so they can get to it. So it's going to look like this again. We'll try that one more time. In my stance, hands down, set, hut. Okay, one more time. Remember, hands down. Close leg is up. My weight is on my, my foot. Set, hut. Okay, so that was the hitch. And we just incorporated the slant into our passing repertoire okay so practice those I want to see if you guys do 10 of those each okay post a video of yourself on um, on Facebook and tag Sheriff Powell you could be entered into a contest to win a $25 gift card from Amazon okay the last thing I'm gonna go over is some defensive back drills because we're gonna next week we're gonna try to do some one-on-ones and uh, have a defender against a receiver so we need to show a little bit about defensive back drills so the first thing is now we're going to talk about man-to-man -man coverage. So, defensive back stance, okay? One thing is we're going to have to bend from our knees and not our waist, okay? So this is not a good stance here, okay? We're going to bend our knees, okay, and not our waist. My hands are out like this, okay? Now another thing is if this person is the ball, we want to take an inside leverage. So. If that is, the, if that is the, the receiver, we're going to be inside leverage, okay? Not here, not here. We want to be inside leverage here, okay? Because we want to take away that inside. We just went over the slant, right? Well, that inside leverage is going to take away that slant from a defender standpoint, okay? So we really want to make sure that you're inside leverage, okay? The first thing we do is just work on our back pedal. That's all we're going to do today is work on the back pedal, okay? We're not going to work on our weave right now, just the back pedal, okay? So start with the inside leverage. Okay, now my feet are fully in the ground right now. So my weight's not on my back, my weight's not on my, my front. Okay, it's really right in the middle, and that way I can go either way, forward or backward, sideways, either way, okay? So I'm here, bending at my knees, okay? Hands are out, and I'm gonna work on my back pedal. So when the ball is snapped, it's gonna come like this. Okay? Right, one more time. Eyes are on the defender inside leverage. Okay. Hands are out, bending at my knees. My back is nice and straight. Okay. My weight is right in the middle. 
Okay, all of my cleats are in the ground right now. I'm not on my front, I'm not on my back. Okay, set, hut. Eyes are on the defender. Okay. Okay, so that's the assignment for the week. Okay, so we're gonna do our warm up. Okay, work on our throwing and catching, do our high knees, um, heel kicks, and our karaoke grapevine. Okay, we're gonna do that down and back three times each. Now we're gonna do our hitch. So work on that 10 times with the hitch. Have somebody throwing you the ball. Remember to catch it and tuck it. And we're gonna do the slant, okay? So work on that, do that slant 10 times, catch it, tuck it, get up field, okay? And the last thing we're gonna work on is our back pedal. So we showed our back pedal, we wanna do that 10 times, okay? Working on getting some speed and flexibility in that back pedal, because next week we're gonna work on uh, being a defender against an actual wide receiver, okay? So that's the assignment for this week, okay? Again, this is Coach T. We love you from Sheriff Powell. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to um, Sheriff Powell website and all social media that the Sheriff Powell has, uh, including YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and again, um, take a video of yourself, put it on Facebook, tag Sheriff Powell, and you could be a chance to win a $25 gift card from Sheriff Powell on next Monday. Again, we love you. Have a great week. See you next week.